of our personal information. The U.S. Constitution grows weaker. Today we gather to restore our freedoms, reclaim the Constitution, repeal the Patriot Act, and abolish the NSA. We gather today not as partisans, but as Americans. We know the monstrous national security state is the product not of a single party, but of a system of government, which today bears no resemblance to the lofty goals of America's founders. This system has produced policies which are a concoction of lies which have fooled no one, lies which took us into Iraq, Afghanistan, Libya, lies which put drone over the skies in many countries, Lies which tell us that in the name of security, we must give up our liberty. The state has become like a leviathan, unaccountable to anyone, slaying dragons abroad while crushing individual rights and freedoms here at home. As the government claims falsely to be fighting for democracy abroad, we are truly losing our democracy here at home, and that is not acceptable. In the name of security, the state has become a big brother metadata collector, which has appropriated our private space. In the name of security, the state opens our email. We say, stop the mass buying. In the name of security, the state downloads our contacts and our photos. We say, Stop the mass fighting! In the name of security, the state monitors our phone calls. We say, Stop the mass fighting! In the name of security, the state checks our financial records. We say, Stop the mass fighting! Now some will say, we willingly give up our privacy when we join social networks. Bullshit! <laughs> say that? Bullshit! We say we reject the right of the state to troll and call yes. from social networks or any social yes. space without warrant. Yes. We reject the right of the state in the name of security to make everyone a suspect, no one a free citizen in an Orwellian surveillance society. We know the truth. We have to be protected from such a state, not by it. The national security state is government as a racket, an NSA-driven protection racket, which extracts billions of dollars every year from taxpayers with a promise to protect us. What we get instead of protection are drones, and extrajudicial killings of civilians around the world. What we get is the destruction of friendships abroad, collecting information on hundreds of millions of people, including leaders we call our friends. The NSA appears to have gone rogue, but it has not. It is a direct reflection of what our own government has become, a threat to freedom at home and abroad. We call on our friends in the international community to understand that there are many Americans who object to the mass collection of private information in Germany, France, Mexico, Brazil, and other countries. We insist on freedom and privacy. In solidarity with our friends in Germany, we say, we're bestin of Freiheit und Privatsphäre. And we insist on freedom and privacy in solidarity with our friends in France. We say, nous on sit stone sur la liberté en la vie privée. We insist on freedom and privacy in solidarity with our friends in Mexico and throughout the Spanish-speaking world. We say, insistemos en que la libertad y la privacidad in solidarity with our friends in Brazil, we say, insistimos in 
liberdade e